It's finally happened. We finally have a real life leak of the upcoming Pixel 9 lineup. Hi, welcome to Zigadjo Review. The Pixel 9 lineup of phones is quite a few months away from being released, but that hasn't stopped it from leaking. And now we have actual real life leaks. That means that somebody got their hands on the actual devices that are going to be launching in the next few months. Now, these leaks come from Brosset Ked. I think I'm saying that right. So let's get started with the leaks. We're going to get started with all three devices next to each other in this image. As you can see, starting on the left hand side, we have the Pixel 9 and we have the Pixel 9 Pro in the middle. And next to it, we have the Pixel 9 Pro XL. That's right. The Pixel 9 Pro XL actually is going to be a variant again starting this year, which means that we're going to have the Pixel 9, which is going to be the mid-range device. And we're going to have the Pixel 9 Pro, which is going to be the flagship device, or I guess now it's going to be the middle device. Then we're going to have the Pixel 9 Pro XL, which is going to be the actual flagship device. Now, the difference between Pixel 9 Pro and the Pixel 9 Pro XL is only going to be the size. So the specs are going to be exactly the same except that Excel, as the name says it, is going to be bigger or the biggest of all three fonts. Now, something to note that we learned based on these leaks is that the back of the Pixel 9 Pro is going to be a shiny, sleek glass back, while the Pixel 9 Pro and the Pixel 9 Pro XL is going to have a matte texture back. Look who came to visit. The other thing that we can see here is that the camera housing actually changes colors as the phone gets bigger. So we can see here that the Pixel 9 has kind of a silverish color in the camera housing. Then when we go to the Pixel 9 Pro, that becomes grayish. It's, it's a lot, it's darker and actually matches the color of the rest of the phone. And then finally, when we get to the Pixel 9 Pro XL, we see that the camera housing is all black and also matches the back of the phone. We can see that transition in color between three, the three devices there too. Now, Rosset Guide clearly had a lot of time with these devices because they went as far as comparing the upcoming Pixel 9 devices with the current iPhone 15s. And as you can see in these images, we have the Pixel 9 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro where we get a back comparison. We have both devices next to each other here in this image. We have those rounded corners there. We have the camera housing, of course, that is different from the iPhone. It's a long pill-shaped camera housing, but it no longer looks like a wraparound camera housing as in the previous Pixel devices. Now we have this kind of looks like glued on, put on camera housing. I personally don't enjoy this design as much as I did the designs previous to this one. This, as I've said before, looks a lot like an iPhone. There's that thing that I'm not loving about the upcoming Pixel device. Now, based on this image, it looks like the Pixel 9 Pro is bigger than the, than the iPhone 15 Pro. And now we can see both devices from the front. So here, looking at the Pixel 9 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro from the front, we can see that they look very similar. Again, the Pixel 9 Pro bigger than the iPhone 15 Pro. They seem to have uh, bezels that are similar. They're very small bezels. But then we have that around the corner there on the Pixel 9 Pro, on the upcoming Pixel 9 Pro that looks exactly like the round the corners on the iPhone 15 Pro, which again, and I know I'm going to, you know, continue repeating the same thing, I do not like. Now let's move on to the Pixel 9 Pro XL and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. This is a comparison from the back of both devices. And as we can see here, the XL again looks a little bigger than the Pro Max. They look exactly the same from the back. And, you know, I, uh, I am disappointed. Now here we have a look at the Pixel 9 and the Pixel 9 Pro next to each other. As you can see there, we can see the differences in design. We have a three camera array on the Pixel 9 Pro, which is also going to be on the Pixel 9 Pro XL. And then we have the two camera array on the Pixel 9 and we can see there a difference in colors as well. Now let's take a look at the front of these two devices to see what they look like when you're actually staring at that screen all of the time. So as we can see here, we have that rounded corners again 
again, those bezels are very, very small on both devices. And we see that these phones are maintaining that punch hole front facing selfie camera that has been a staple on the Pixel devices. I personally hope that maybe next year on the Pixel 10 or Pixel X, whatever it's had to call it, we get the, the camera that hides behind the screen that only comes alive when you're taking a front facing picture or a selfie picture. Instead of continuing to have this punch hole camera that feels so outdated in my opinion. Now, it is much better than what the iPhone 15 had, that horrendous this island that the iPhone 15 has. I just don't know how iPhone owners deal with that crap because they had a hands-on with the device. We actually have the specs of these phones. So let's get into that. For the Pixel 9, which is codename Tokay, we're going to have 12 gigs of RAM. We're going to be starting storage-wise at 128 gigs. We're going to have a 6.24 inch display, 120 Hertz AMOLED panel. Rear cameras are going to be a primary and a ultra wide camera because remember the Pixel 9 only has two cameras in the back. We don't have any megapixels for that. The Pixel 9 is not going to support ultra wide band. Now let's move on to the Google Pixel 9 Pro code name Cayman. And this one is going to have 16 gigs of RAM. Again, it's going to start at 128 gigs of storage then we're going to go up in size to 6.34 inches for the display we're going to have 120 hertz amoled panel also going to have three rear cameras we have a regular rear camera we have an ultra wide camera and we're also going to have the periscope telephoto camera all these cameras are going to be 50 megapixels and unlike the pixel 9 this device is going to support ultra wide band. Now let's move on to the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL codename Komodo. And this one's also going to come at 16 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. It's going to have 120 Hertz AMOLED panel. We're going to have a 6.73 inch display and the cameras are going to be the same as the Pixel 9 Pro. And that's going to be a primary camera, an ultra wide camera and a periscope camera all at 50 megapixels. This device is also going to be ultra wideband compatible. Now at this point, you know, because I've said it enough times that I don't like the new design of the Pixel 9 devices. I, I don't like how flat they are. I don't like how rounded they are. I don't like the way that they've changed the camera housing from having its own design language and specific design that you could see and say, oh, I know what phone that is. They're going to something more common if that makes sense and and i don't really like that now why are they adding an excel option well that's that's simple money you can charge more for an excel option because now that becomes your flagship device and you can also keep the same price for your pixel 9 pro which will become your i guess middle device even though it is exactly the same specs as your flagship device and you can keep the cheaper device with the pixel 9 so it, it creates a range of devices for people who are looking for smaller medium and large devices and also as a company you can charge more money as well i personally don't see the advantage of doing that i, I feel like google is going to cannibalize itself by doing this because they used to do this. They actually used to have the Excel option. They went down to just having two phones. So having tried that before, having tried having three options before and not going very well for sales and then going down to two options, well, not counting the foldable and the A option that come later, going so well for them sales wise, why not stick with what's working instead of trying to add another option and make it more cumbersome for consumers who are now used to having these options in the market already for a few years. But I guess corporate greed knows no bounds and here we are. What do you think about the new Pixel lineup? Now that we know that these most likely are the devices that we're going to be getting, are you excited about it? Are you like, oh, I don't really like what they're doing? Let me know in the comment section if you have any other thoughts. Let me know in the comment section. That is it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. And thank you very much for watching.